Rope on it! <laughs> Do you want to try to do a burnout? <laughs> oh, really? I saw it was puffed out, just just like little little, little spurts of black smoke. That's all I got. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the neutral drop. <laughs> Oh really? Is it a linkage? Holy shit. I broke my fucking gas pedal. Are you serious? Yeah. How'd you do that? I'm sure she's had cars before. I broke the fucking gas pedal. <laughs> Trying to do a burnout. Lay into it a little too hard. <laughs> God damn. So how are you gonna fix that? <laughs> I don't fucking know, we're stuck in the highway. I might have to get back to grandma's. Oh fuck. See right there, it's fucking broke. Just the linkage? Yeah, see where it goes on there at? Yeah. Playing <laughs> there. Yeah. God damn. You wanna sit up on the hood? Grab it up while I drive. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's like a piece of string or something. String's probably better. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's what happens when you fuck around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's better than a transmission. <laughs> Is that long enough? No. Ain't nowhere near long enough. <laughs> I don't even know where half this bullshit come from. Right. God damn. Is there a pair of side cutters over there? No. <laughs> the rear 5.2 diesel, ladies and gentlemen. Magnum 5.2 diesel. Where it gets to roll coal sometimes when you're on the, the highway. You know, obviously this is a fucking gas. So you're fucking retarded if you think there's a 5.2 diesel. Uh, at least a Cummins, whatever. And that obviously don't even sound like a fucking diesel. Anyways. Basically, he there's something wrong with his injector. So when you're going on the interstate and you're romping on it like hell, it'll just spew black smoke. And all that white shit, obviously, that's fucking oil. We just topped it off in oil because it burned so much damn oil. Probably four quarts. Oh, there's a little black smoke there. A little hard to see probably in the camera, but yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. You wanna see the whole main hand throttle? <laughs> Look at there, folks. Can we shut the hood? Nope. Just like that. You don't want to down it today. Then you're gonna have to hold this for me. <laughs> Alright. Control it from the driver's side. Alright. Oh well, hang on. You can't pull it none. I gotta put the, I guess, put the hood up. Shit. Can you pull it now? <laughs> this is the most fucking redneck thing you could possibly get, alright? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> God damn, boy. It's fucking working. Weird. <laughs> Drop it! That's his wrong oh. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, if you break your fucking gas pedal, that is how your redneck ingenuity is. <laughs> now make sure you got brakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of sketchy on this truck too. <laughs> Alrighty. So, decided to try to redneck this even more <laughs> and just get it get it back to town so <laughs> oh yeah we figured out too maybe this might uh, be the reason why our brakes aren't working that we just need to top her off there you know <laughs> so yeah um, you put this in the cap first on these dodges they're screwed that first. Look at there. A little how to first video. How to <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> well, this thing got a lot of stuff I need to do to it, so it'll be how to videos. Oh yeah. Got so yeah. New joint to put in it. Yeah, it's a little little wobbly got and got a misfire. And... Yeah, let's let's run down. So just the simple shit when you gotta fix. Old Chevy. Um, we're gonna fix. I'm sure there's some in there. Possibly somewhere in there in the toolbox. But anyway, so we got a misfire. We have we're gonna fix the throttle ah, throttle cable hopefully today. Get that taken care of. Um, again, the misfire, the U or the said so the U joint. Hear that? She a little sloppy. This is my grandpa's little shop. He has all kinds of things in here. But anyways, um, got the five two Cummins out there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head to town and we're just gonna keep recording we're basically starting this youtube deal off so that's zach right there i'm gonna make a thumbnail one of those uh uh street speed 717 thumbnails where he's like pointing in the camera like this and he's like oh no here's perfect perfect thumbnail quality right here blown cummins <laughs> that's that's exactly what I was, I was trying to explain to zach here because you know he he's a he's real country yeah, He's yeah, he's not very good with computers and technology and I said you're not very good at being country though either. No, no, I'm horrible. I just put on a little country accent. So where you can't say that you put on a country accent. That's just Yeah, it's it's like show it's show quality there. You can't tell him that. Yeah, no, we can't I can't tell you that. So I'm trying to tell him about the truck. Tell him basically and he'll tell you too. He found this truck in a field for what, three hundred bucks? Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars for everything. They thought the uh, what well, the transmission was shot in it. People are buying from the transmission was out. Yeah, they thought the tranny was out, but it turned out it was uh, the transfer case was cracked, right? Oh yeah, the whole housing was bust. They ran it without fluid for so long, it wouldn't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. So I. Had, to, like park was out. Yeah, so they decided to park it, and they're just like, you know what? It's just for parts. Whatever the body was beat up on, it still still is. Um, two fences. Yeah, two fences. Past owner. He said one of them was on uh, by accident. This is coming from a friend of, of the previous owner. He said one of them was by accident. He said the second one, he wasn't for sure if it was an accident or not. Right. So, okay, so explain to you exactly what exactly that injector is doing. So it's just overfueling slightly, or it's, you said it was the misfire that's causing the... It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with injectors. Okay, so it's the misfire. The misfire, uh, I just need to do a tune-up on it, because... I replaced one wire that was broke just to get me by, mm -hmm. but that wasn't all my problem. There's his homemade headliner. Yeah, I need to do some work to it. Oh, yeah, and it has a sunroof. Previous center put a sunroof in it, and that obviously, you second-gen owners, they didn't come with sunroofs. So they, that's aftermarket, obviously. And it works fine. It's power, power everything. Um, he has his <laughs> power, power locks here. They, they work. They're in tip-top, absolutely great shape, you know. Uh, yeah, you know any Dodge on the nose. Oh yeah. Three hundred thousand miles on the truck. Oh yeah. It's gonna break down. That says over three hundred thousand miles. I don't know how much over. I had to replace the cluster in it. Yeah. Oh fuck. Ooh. I had to place the cluster in it, and this cluster had less miles on it when I put it in it. And this one, this uh, new cluster is about to roll over three hundred thousand, and they're about twenty thousand off. So I'm probably, probably more like three hundred fifteen thousand miles. There you go. And this is a 5.2 Magnum. Well, obviously, like I said, people are kind of ignorant and stupid sometimes. So they're like, oh, there's no such thing as a 5.2 Cummins. Oh, well, yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> but, uh, so, um, 
Yeah, he's running, um, oh, what'd you say, some, uh, 90 gear oil. Yeah, we got um, some 80, 90 weights, a 1540, um, about 5W30, 10W30, anything I can find that says lubricant on it, because this thing burns about two quarts a week. I slowed it down, it used to burn four. Because <laughs> Dodgers have a bad problem, uh, there's a gasket underneath the intake whenever they designed this, or, like, forged it in the factory, they had to put a gasket there to seal it off, and a steel plate when the gasket goes out it sucks oil into your intake and you're just just dead burning it right all righty ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna wrap the video up well shitty shitty quality on the uh, camera and stuff but uh you now we're gonna wrap the video up after everything that happened we ended up fixing the throttle cable we were gonna kind of show you it's real simple it takes like five minutes to um grab a throttle cable from we had a parts truck or whether my friend here has a parts truck that he just robbed it off of um we were gonna show you that process but we got kind of caught up and foam battery died and um, i got a camera and stuff so this is just like an opening video just to give all this youtube thing test and we'll see how she goes he's in his house making noise and shit so we'll see how she goes we're gonna go to a party tonight See if this uh, old Dodge gets any looks. I doubt it. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. No. She ain't a looker. Not a performer. But she still gets the fucking job done. A to B. A to B, ladies. So. Peace out, guys. Maybe uh, tomorrow I'll record a video. Higher quality. Good camera. See how she goes. Maybe even show you how that uh, throttle cable kind of goes in. There's a wreck somewhere. Anyways, it's not bullshit.